All right, everyone. So we continue on with our uh, solution to Prime One Vulnerable Hub. In this video, we're going to continue to uh, exploit WordPress and navigate from WordPress into limited shell access. So as we spoke in the last video, that we got access to WordPress uh, dashboard. And in this example, guys, I'm going to show you three ways where you can step from WordPress access into shell access or system access. Actually, there are multiple and various ways to achieve this purpose. One of the ways, or one of them is uh, finding, going to theme editor, okay? And from here, you need to find a PHP file, specifically and particularly PHP file that is writable, okay? Which means that when you paste something, when you update the file, it's going to update successfully. So basically, guys, the writable file in this case is secret.php over here. Okay, so you are done with providing the writable file. What you do next? The second step is establishing a connection from WordPress into your attacking machine. You can do that by using... Um, let's say PHP reverse shell, or in general, you can use reverse shell. But in the case of WordPress, you need to make sure that the, the shell or reverse shell that you would use is PHP or uh, written using PHP. So maybe the first way you can go to Google. And after that, you type in this monkey reverse shell. This web page has a multitude of reverse shells written in different languages. So my recommendation is to grab all of these guys in all languages, save it in a text file in your machine in case you're gonna need it later. Who knows, maybe the website would go down in any time. So save these um, uh, reverse shell. If you're not experienced programmer, you're gonna need these shells, in, uh, I mean, definitely. So you can, for example, Take this, okay, which is PHP. And don't forget to put the sign over here and paste that content over here. And don't forget guys to change the IP address with your attacking machine address and the port on which the machine is listening, your machine actually, okay. Now the second way is we open our friend the terminal and we go to MSF console. Now, after looking at MSF console, guys, we're gonna search for the word WordPress. And Metasploit will happily give us um, multiple exploits for multiple purposes scanning, enumeration, um, exploitation, post exploitation all the fruits that you are after. So let's see what Metasploit would give us. And while it's searching and looking up the results, let me grab a new terminal over here and show you this third way of creating a PHP reverse shell. We're gonna use MSF, yeah, Venom. And the payload would be PHP, guys. Uh, Metapreter. happening okay now reverse tcp l host would be your ip address local one in case you are working internally most of the times you're going to work internally uh l port okay l port would be 344 and let me specify the form or the final shape of the file would be raw because I will grab and copy the payload and paste it into WordPress. So I need the bare form of the payload. Now let's go back. And over here, we find multiple exploits, guys, for WordPress. So we have here, um, let me go up. 
scanner. Okay, so admin, WP admin shall upload. It's very excellent so for uh, establishing remote connection. And this is also a good example. Actually, these exploits in this specific scenario or in this machine will not work to save you time because you know not all of the PHP files over here are writable. The only one is secret. So you need to specifically um, instruct Metasploit to after this file. Okay, now let's go back to it says invalid payload selection. Let's review back our options. Oh. Okay, let's try now. Okay, so guys, you see here, this is the payload it starts here and ends here. You're gonna ignore this and take that. Go back to WordPress and paste this over here instead of that. And replace the IP address with your testing machine and the port with the port that your machine uh, will listen on. Okay, now let's go back to Metasploit. Let me close this terminal and go over here, establish a listener. Okay, so use exploit multi handler. Now let's set the payload and be careful guys to set the payload in your listener to be the same payload which you used uh, in the uh, WordPress file. In our case, it's PHP payload. Okay, PHP meter reverse PCB. Now let's see our options, what we have. So we have the L host. L host is 1916894 and L port which is three fourths before and run. Now our listener has been set up. Now all we need to do guys now is to save the file in WordPress. Click on update file. And now let's trigger the shell by navigating to the file path of uh, or on which the reverse shell has been implanted. So let me go now, WordPress, there will be content, themes, and now let's grab the name of this guy, which is 2013, 2019. Um, I think we should grab the name uh, from different area of WordPress. Let me guys go now to, okay, where is the mouse? Okay, so I go to themes. Okay, so let's go here. And now we type the name of the file. Oops, let me go back. Team editor, secret. So there will be content. Wow, I think I'm making too many typos today. Okay, as you can see, this the, over here the browser is spinning. And now we go back to the exploit. I will see we have now the reverse shell has been activated and we got system access. And the first thing guys, when getting into uh, a system, or when you have system access, you need guys to make sure that uh, the, all the system information is in your hand. So let's type CCFO and it reveals that the version of the Linux distribution over here. This is will be very beneficial when conducting privilege escalation. So if you copy that and we go to our browser, I go to Google. Now we need to find an exploit for this. Now one way would be to one, I mean, 
organizational way is to use search exploit. Typing the version, distribution name, you want to, and the version over here. Let's see. It says no results. And let me reshape the query over here again. Okay, so let me go back to Google now. And let's type. Okay, here we have exploit. Okay, so we see here we have the our version is listed in this page. Let's click on that. Okay, so here we have BPF sign extension local privilege escalation in Metasploit. So we have the exploit ready in our friend Metasploit. All we need to do now is to load this module and boom, we're gonna have root access. But for specific reason, guys, I couldn't uh, initiate this model in my Metasploit. Although I am up to date with all the latest uh, uh, Metasploit version, Ah, died. Okay. So let's go, let's go now to use and let's find this exploit. Search. Let's try to find this exploit. I go down. See if. There's a specific path out here for the exploit. Okay, so I can see that I don't have the exploit. So I will go ahead, guys, and download that. And I will download the file. So let's go to the file. Okay, now let's copy that. And now we need to go to the root folder. Go to MSF4, modules, exploits. And let me paste that over here and name that B, B, F, sign rev escalation now let's go back use exploit um, let's say that the uh, path uh, wait, wait okay so BPF, or oh, let me search for that, it's better. B, to see if the exploit has been added. Actually, I tried this one, guys, but it didn't work. Let's see now if after adding this one specific one that's required for this distribution or the exploitation of distribution uh, would work. Uh, so I couldn't find the exploit. Okay, let me exit the exploit now. And let me launch the MSF console again. Okay, so I have now the Metasploit again launched. Let me research for this. Let's see now if we can find the exploit. See, our query has not been started. Um, 
Okay, PPF. Why don't I write that over here? Hmm, this is very weird. Okay, let me try this one. But well, before trying, let me reestablish this session from scratch. Uh, use exploit. Okay, now let's go background. Now let's use this one. Let's see our options. Set the session to one. Set L host. And exploit. No, the L host is my host. Let's see now. Failed. Okay, let me launch this one over here, update database. And let me now you try to use the our you try using our exploit. Uh, search PPF. Oh, I'm very frustrated. Okay, guys. So you may try this one. If you have the uh, if you have this module over here in Metasploit, just go ahead and use it to escalate your privileges. If you don't have it, just go ahead and download that, place it in exploits, and try to uh, trigger this up by using the exploit or using an exploit or searching for this name. For my case, it doesn't show up. It may require further digging and troubleshooting. But let's stop uh, for now. You have seen how to uh, traverse from um, regular WordPress access into shell access. And you have seen how to use uh, or search for the exploit required for this channel in order to escalate your privilege. Uh, so guys, in the next video, we would, we would be doing uh, other challenge or something else other than this challenge. For this challenge, we are done. Um, and that's it, and thank you for watching.